guys, welcome back for another video. If you are new here, my name is Lulu and in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a Pinterest recreation video for the summer, so a bunch of summer looks. But what I love about doing these videos is that it's gonna be on a plus size body because a lot of the time we see so many Pinterest girlies out there posting all these amazing photos, but half the time they are not plus size. So I wanted to show you guys that you too can wear some of these amazing outfits and just kind of how to style it, where to find some of these products, some of the tweaks and stuff that I make. I just want to do a disclaimer that these are inspired by, so they might not always be exactly the same look, but I'm trying to hit the nail on the head as best as I can for you all. So I hope you really enjoy this video. I know last time you guys loved this kind of video, so I wanted to do another one for summertime, but enough of me talking, let's jump right in. So I love this first look because it's super casual and easy to recreate because boxer shorts have really just been an upcoming trend that have just really blossomed this summer. And a lot of times you'll see the blue and white striped boxer shorts, but what I really have found has been kind of popping up in popularity are the red and white checkered ones. And I actually found some on Shein, which I'm so excited about. And this is how they look, which is so perfect for this little look. And this girl, she just has on these simple little shorts, which are so comfortable. They're kind of like a linen fabric, nice little stretchy waistline. And she has on just like a simple white tee, which I have this one from H&M. It's a couple years old, but I can try and find something really similar. This is really easy to replicate. Or what you can also do is if you have a shirt like this that's longer, you can always cut it to be more cropped. I actually wish that this one was a little bit more cropped so that way you could see the waistline on it a little bit better. I could always tuck it in, but I decided just to leave it out for the sake of the replication. And then of course for the shoes I have on my little Sambas right here with higher socks. I know for us like millennials, the high sock thing can be a little strange, but once you kind of get into it, it's actually surprisingly so comfortable and way better than wearing those low socks that you're constantly having to pull up. I mean, I noticed that I never get blisters when I wear high socks, so seriously perfect. And then she does have on a little red sweater. So I did have this one that is super old. Um, it's just a little sweater. So I'm gonna turn it the opposite way to achieve this look because I think that with the checkered shorts you could have the writing on the sweater out but i think what i'm gonna do is turn it so that way you can't see it and for accessories she looks like she just has like on really simple gold jewelry so i just kept on the stuff that i wear pretty much all the time and because she doesn't have a purse in the video i'm just gonna use my little prada saddlebag to achieve this entire look so for this next look, what I really love about it is that she just looks so unbothered, like she's enjoying her vacation with her ice cream. I'm almost envisioning that she's in Greece just because of the white and blue buildings in the background. And I just love this effortless look that she has going on. So obviously my favorite pair of white linen shorts that I got from Target this year, they sold out pretty quickly. So if they have them again, I will definitely post them if not i'll try to find a different pair because white linen shorts are pretty easy to find and then her shirt looks to be just a solid blue however i got this as a little set from shein over the summer and it's basically a buttoned up top and it has a matching pair of shorts but i love wearing this as like a separate and i decided to leave it just open and half buttoned so just kind of this vibe of like the half button just because I can't really quite tell from the photo what is going on entirely in the front. Like, is it open and she has a tank or is it just, you know, buttoned? So for that sake, I'm just gonna keep it this way. And then for the shoes, of course, she has her Birkenstocks. So I have these little Birkenstocks on right here. These are actually from Amazon and they're an amazing dupe. So if you're not ready to invest, you know, upwards of plus $100 on a pair of shoes. These are a really great way to get that look, but for a lot less. And they're super comfortable. I've worn them now for about a year and a half and they've held up great, super comfy. So really love these shoes. And then I am loving the scarf look. So I'm gonna actually tie a scarf in my hair because I feel like it just really completes this look and captures just the whole vibe of like that vacation. So I have this little, 
faux silk scarf from Zara. And a lot of times I'll get these scarves from Zara and you can tie them around your purse. You can use them as like those cute little bandana tops. I mean, obviously you'd have to have a bigger one that actually fits properly, but I loved this one because it has those little touches of blue and other colors that are more my color. Cause blue is not really my color, but this one has a lot of yellow in it, which is my color. So I'm gonna go ahead and tie this on. I know there's like special tricks to tie them and make them look really good, but for quickness and all of that, I'm just gonna take these two ends and just loop it in the back. All right, so there we have it. Here is the look. And then for sunglasses, I don't have a big pair of white ones like that. I love hers, I think they're so fun. But I do have these, these are so cute from Shein and they're just really nice little tortoise shell. Such a fun vibe and I feel like they go well with just the overall aesthetic of like the outfit. It blends well and then for the bag because she has like a little croissant shaped style bag, I'm gonna use my Prada one again to just complete the look but here is the full vibe. So for this next one, I really loved how just effortless this looks. I mean, she has this yellow skirt on with this little tank top holding her flowers. Looks like she's walking somewhere in New York City. And I just loved how effortless she looked in this. And I was thinking to myself, I wish I owned a satin yellow skirt because this is so darn cute. But then I like started looking through my closet and I realized I have this amazing satin yellow dress. So I have this dress that I got from Target. It is so cute, so comfortable, but I figured instead of putting a tank top on, I could layer it with a cute little crop tee and it would kind of give me that same effect that she's wearing because she does have on that very like casual tank top with just a more like elevated bottom. And you guys know that I love the juxtaposition between something a little bit more formal and very casual. I know you guys can still kind of see the yellow outlining right here. I probably had like a thicker top. It would probably blend just like a little bit better, but I do really love the way this turned out. And then just her casual white sandals with the white bag. I mean, I have on these pair that I've had literally for years. And then for the bag, I do have this little woven bag. I know it's not exact, but this is just a really cute one that I got from Amazon. It's a nice little like tote you can toss in, just tons of stuff into it. So super comfortable, just casual kind of like shopping vibe. And then because she has on a pair of black square framed glasses, again, I'm gonna go with these to just kind of complete that look for the whole vibe. But I'm really just loving this because it kind of hits the nail on the head a little bit, but in like a fun, different way. So for this next look, it is definitely very inspired by, I wouldn't say that it's an exact copy of her outfit. I think I was really inspired because I had just purchased this amazing shell necklace from Shein. I've been looking for something like this. And a lot of times I'll go on less expensive websites like Shein, stuff like that, to find cute little pieces that really just add to an outfit top for the certain season that I'm in. So that's when I got this necklace and I saw this outfit and I just fell in love with the fact that she was wearing something like this. So I was like, that is so perfect. I own something like that. And I love that she has, again, that juxtaposition of just that casual tee with that silky skirt. So I want to kind of play off that same vibe of a satin skirt with just a casual t-shirt vibe. So instead of doing the white tee, I went for this one from American Eagle. So this is actually one of my most worn tank tops from American Eagle and it's from the airy section. And I just love it because it's super comfortable, lightweight, stretchy, has a built-in bra. So sometimes in the summer when it's super hot, you really don't want to wear a bra, let's be honest. And I feel like it does a good job of holding it up, but still keeping it very casual. And then she also has on just a pair of sandals. So I decided to go with my little Hermes um, kind of like dupe sandals to kind of keep the vibe very plain and simple. And then because she has a very beachy vibe going, I don't have a beaded bag. I'm obsessed with this blue beaded bag that she has, but I do have my favorite knitted bag that I got from Zara this summer. So I am gonna throw in this because I love the fact that she has on so many different colors. So I also wanted to stay true 
to that vibe where she has on multiple different colors and it kind of just creates a really nice complimentary look. So here is what I came up with. And for this next look, I really love the simplicity of it because it's just casual, it's elevated at the same time, and it's crazy that Target literally has almost an exact replica of this top. Obviously, hers is one-shouldered, which I really love a one-shouldered. If you know me, I'm all about one-shouldered stuff. But Target has these tangs, and it's only $8, and they go on sale quite often, so they have this one with the white lining, which... I love it. It's slightly ribbed, very comfortable. I got this one in a size 1X. I almost wish I got a 2X because I think with how snug it is on the body, maybe a 2X would have just fit just a little bit looser, which would have been nice. But all in all, I still love the tank and I think it's one of those things that I'm really happy that I purchased. And if I want another one in a different size, I can always just go back and purchase it because it was so inexpensive. So because her look is a little more casual than mine, I decided to change it slightly just because I don't have as many casual pieces that she does for this look. So as you notice, like she has this Celine basket bag and she's wearing linen trousers with it and her sandals. So because I do not have some of those pieces, I do have linen pants, but I do think if I were to wear the linen pants with a really nice like leather bag, I just don't feel like it vibes or matches as well with the aesthetic. So what I decided to do was just elevate it a little bit and change the look. So Instead, I have on these trousers from Abercrombie & Fitch, and these are seriously my favorite trousers. They're the Harpers, and they come in this like crepe-like material, so they do not wrinkle. I just throw these anywhere, wash them, dry them, and they come out literally perfect every single time, and they are so comfortable. And then they also are nice and snug around the waist. I would have added a belt to this look, but again, I didn't have a brown one, so I just left it simple. And then because I think you could probably wear this outfit to work if you have more of like a casual work environment where you can wear sleeveless, this you could definitely change the shoe option to a pair of like flats or something like that. But because I was kind of staying true to this outfit as much as possible, I just went with again these Hermes dupes and then I'll show you the bag that I went with. So this little Celine bucket bag is what I decided to pair with it and I feel like it really just completed the look of the elevated style. So it's the same same as the photo but I think because of the bag difference and the pants difference I decided to elevate it and make it a little bit less relaxed and a little bit more for like a nicer occasion but again we can still do a pair of fun sunnies if you're running around town again i just showed you guys these i'm going to put on the same pair because a lot of these looks seem to have these and this is my final look so i really love this next one because it's giving me italy vibes that's kind of where i'm picturing her on her little vacation and i love how effortless this look is but still elevated at the same time and the fact that she's using an all monochromatic look for this is just chef's kiss i think it's so cute and she also has on a lighter colored brown it almost looks like a trapeze style tube top but i got this one from target it's more like the vest style tube top and it has a little opening which i think is so cute and it gives the same effect and look and it is still you know a total tube top and it has like that really nice lining on the inside i don't know if you guys could see that very well but this stuff really just keeps it up and in place like you can move around and it's not really slipping or going anywhere because it attaches to your body similar to the shaper and shapewear how the really high ones that go underneath it has that same kind of silicone band on it so it just lightly like will stick to your body and not really move anywhere which i love and then she it looks like she has on a pair of just linen shorts so i did get these made when i was in vietnam so i don't have a store you can go to get them and you could also totally change the look of this by doing a different color so if you want to go like more like lighter creams and whites you could achieve this look if you have like white shorts and maybe an off-white kind of creamy tube top you could definitely do this and then for her bag and her shoes she has on a simple pair of like strappy sandals i actually have a pair that's really similar but because i wanted to pair this particular bag with it and just keep it really simple for you guys i am going to go again surprise surprise with those dupe sandals and then i am going to keep the purse the same and the sunglasses because i want to show you that some of these pieces that you do decide to invest in so for example like this bag yes it's an investment piece and it's beautiful 
but I splurge on this, but then I save on other things like these sandals that I got from Shein that are like an Hermes dupe. So, you know, it's kind of balancing out what you will decide to spend a lot of money on or save on. So what I love doing that with a lot of my outfits, I'll invest in like my handbags or really good jewelry. And then some of the other pieces I can go a little bit less expensive on and certain shoes I'll invest in, but I like to really keep it well balanced for the full look. But I am gonna wear this one and then just kind of toss it over my shoulder. And then I am gonna wear, again, these cheapo sunglasses. I love cheap sunglasses. If you know me, you know that I will sit on them, break them, all the above. So this is what I'm working with for this look. And I think we definitely achieved it. So for this last look, I really love it because it got me into my closet picking out things I haven't worn in ages. I literally have not worn this top in so long, it's not even funny. And because I was inspired by this look, I decided to pull this one out. And I'm just happy that I was shopping my closet and found something very similar because I saw this on Pinterest and I was like, oh my gosh, I really love this look. How can I recreate it? And I love how casual it is. She looks like she's out like shopping, maybe at lunch. And I just love like the denim skirt. I wish that mine was a little bit more distressed like hers is at the bottom, but I have on this one that I got from ASOS. Um, I wish it had a little more distressing, but it doesn't. And then I, of course I have on my little Birkenstocks. And then this top, it's similar to hers. Hers is more of like a tie top, but the difference with this top is, and I kind of did a little trick to it, is it just like hangs like this. Pretty shapeless, doesn't have much going on. So I always like to take it, I tuck it under in the back and then it's going to kind of leave you with two things. You can either A, to get that same look, tie it like this and leave it like that. Or the other way that you can do it is you can take both little ends and crisscross them. I love doing this and tuck them into your pants or your skirt or whatever. And then you can kind of billow out the little edges and then that'll be the look. So I decided to do it this way just I think it just creates a little more of like a seamless shape for my body. And then of course, I'm gonna rock with the same bag and then just change the sunglasses. I think this kind of has a little bit more of like a hippie vibe. So I want to go with my other favorites, these stunner shade orange ones. And then this is the completed look. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching my video today. I hope you had fun seeing all these summer outfits that I've recreated using Pinterest looks and inspiration. I love using Pinterest to find inspiration for different looks and kind of shopping my closet to create new outfits or be re-inspired for how to wear some pieces that I haven't worn in literally forever. But we will see you next time for another video and hope you have a good one. Bye.